What exactly does it mean to push your film? It's more than just changing the ISO on your camera. Pushing film actually takes place during development. So what exactly is pushing film? Well, pushing film is underexposing and overdeveloping. So why would anybody want to push their film? Well, there's two main reasons. One is practicality and two is aesthetics. If you're shooting handheld and there's not enough light and you're getting shutter speeds like 1 15th or 1 8th of a second, that's way too slow to handhold. So pushing your film one to two stops could give you much more usable shutter speeds. On the other hand, a lot of people like to push their film just for the look. Push film has increased contrast, it's more grainy, and it has a unique look. One of the best films for pushing is Kodak Tri-X. Technically, you can push any film, but not every film is gonna give good results. For example, the T-Green films like T-Max and the Delta films, they're overly sensitive to overdevelopment and you end up with extremely dense highlights. So I decided to shoot a roll of Tri-X I shot one half of it normally, and then I pushed the other half. So the normal side was box speed 400, and then the other half I shot at 1600 and pushed it in development. It's important to note that pushing your film won't save an extremely underexposed image. If there's not enough light hitting the film, then those silver halide crystals essentially are going to stay asleep, and when the image is fixed, they'll just get washed away. So it won't bring out any detail that's not there. The silver halide crystals have to receive enough light in order for them to be activated. Moving on to the photos, I did X-Tall for both of these. The 400 speed, I did X-Tall stock, and that was just the normal time that's available on Massive Dev. And for the 1600, I did X-Tall 1 to 1 dilution, and again, that was just the regular time that's available on Massive Dev chart. On the left is the box speed version, and then on the right is the 1600 push version. So right away, you can see that there is a lot of difference between the shadows. On the push one, the shadow areas are darker. They have less exposure. And the highlights are not too much brighter on the push one, but you can definitely see some more contrast because they're a little bit denser. Tri-X does hold up pretty well, so results may vary with other films. In fact, they for sure will vary, but Tri-X holds up pretty well even when pushed. So I would say the biggest concern is when you're underexposing, if you're pushing film and you're shooting something that's dark already, when you push it, you might lose almost all the detail. So you have to be careful with that. One thing that I thought was pretty cool was that even though the film is pushed two stops, it's definitely a lot grainier, but it's done with x -tall, so the grain is still actually pretty tame. This is what I meant by being careful with your exposure. This camera is black, so I metered it at zone 3 for the box speed, so then when I pushed it two stops, it was pretty much completely without detail. Going back to the effects of pushing film, the effect is increased density in the midtones and the highlights from the overdevelopment, and you could see that in his eyes here. The push one, his eyes, the density is really high, so they're super bright white. And being that he's underexposed, he's much darker than the box speed version. When I first got into shooting film, I was kind of over the moon about pushing. I thought it was really cool and I wanted to do it all the time. But as I got a little bit more experienced, I tended to like the, the better shadow detail of not pushing your film much more. Here's a solo shot that I did just outside the window. And this is at 1600. And I think overall it looks pretty decent. I think if you're careful enough with your exposures when you're pushing film, you can get some pretty solid shots, but it all depends on what you're trying to do with it. I think pushing your film is good when you absolutely have little light and you kind of need to push your film, but you will definitely get your best results when you're shooting your film at box speed and developing normally. In conclusion, my thoughts on pushing film, I would only do it if you absolutely had to, like if the light is really actually low, but I am kind of a stickler when it comes to my images. I get really bummed out if my images don't turn out, especially when it's like a portrait shoot. So I wouldn't do it for a shoot that I really care about. Um, I would kind of do it more of like a novelty thing, like if you're at a concert or something and the lights are low, then you could definitely push your film to get some more detail. The cool thing about film though is that there's a lot of different things that you can do. So I would kind of just consider this like another tool in the tool belt. So how do you guys feel about pushing film? Are you guys fans of it? And if you've never tried it before, would you ever give it a try? Let me know in the comments and we'll see you guys next time on The Negative.